people. Um, I had been asked a few questions on the last call about cognition and cognitive function um, that I wasn't quite able to get to. Uh, so I wanted to start the call today by answering some of those questions. Um, like I said, one of our primary focuses in practice is cognition, cognitive function, so reversing and preventing cognitive decline. Um, we work with a lot of Alzheimer's patients or people who are just looking to optimize mental focus, mental clarity. So we do get quite a few questions about whether or not beta hydroxybutyrate plays a role there or not. So there's some really interesting research looking at the role that beta hydroxybutyrate can play with respect to cognitive function. And I will touch a little bit on um, ADD, ADHD, epilepsy. I also got that question last time and I missed it. Um, so I'll touch a little bit on that as well. So beta hydroxybutyrate has actually been shown in animal and now in human trials to be um, effective or helpful in terms of those who are experiencing cognitive decline. Specifically, when we look at something called BDNF, so BDNF stands for brain-derived neurotrophic factor, um, and BDNF is something that we see quite low in our, um, in our patients, or it's highly correlated to cognitive function. Uh, so it stands for, again, brain-derived neurotrophic factor, so that's what we need to create new neuronal connections, new neuronal pathways in the brain. And beta-hydroxybutyrate has been shown to upregulate this BDNF, Interestingly, fasting has been shown to do that as well. So intermittent fasting or the extended fasting like a reboot has also been shown to upregulate BDNF. The other thing about BDNF is it's also shown to be low in those who suffer from um, autoimmune conditions. So fibromyalgia, also chronic fatigue, we see low BDNF. So there is a role. So that's usually a foundation of my practice is getting beta hydroxybutyrate into those patients. Uh, and if you're a Lyme patient or chronic illness patient, I'm also making you go keto um, and introducing some intermittent, uh, introducing some intermittent fasting as well, so we can really upregulate that BDNF and optimize cognitive function overall. So there's some really interesting research in that space. Um, and the other area that we get a lot of questions is ADHD.